There's a place that I found in the shade on the ground, far from a worry central. I've been struggling a little bit this winter and it being our first winter back after living in Hawaii and it being cold and yucky out. Um, and I've been struggling a little bit, so I'm trying to get myself to get motivated to get more things done or have more motivation to finish the mundane tasks and not have it feel like so heavy. When I used to work as, like I used to clean cars and it was really mindless and so I would listen to audiobooks, usually like young adult ones because they're just easy to follow along and not get too wrapped up in all of the details. Um, and so I listened to a lot of a lot of audiobooks and when I would get off of work I would want to continue listening to hear the rest of the story so I would come home and I would do other mindless work like cleaning, organizing, gardening, um, random anything mindless cooking anything that's fairly mindless that I could continue listening and and um, and I got a lot of stuff done so what I'm trying to say is that what I'm gonna be trying to do is listen to the book every day for a couple of hours a day so that I can make sure that I am getting things done around the house staying on top of everything and not just being a lazy bum all day long so that's where we're at um, I just wanted to give you guys a quick little update. I am currently reading or listening to Tamara Pierce. It is the Lioness series. Um, and there are four books in this one, I believe. I already listened to the first one yesterday. I'm going to try to get through some of the second one today. Um, the first one was Al Alana, The First Adventure. And this one is called In the Hand of the Goddess. Um, it's pretty interesting. It's very... Lord of the Rings, Game of Thrones, uh, Wheel of Wheel of Time, um, that whole kind of fantasy series thing, and I very much enjoy that. So uh, I think that's enough rambling, and I will talk to you guys very soon. <laughs> okay, bye. Hey, you guys. So it is Saturday. Jonah's at work. I am going to go for a walk. It is 28 degrees outside right now. And I'm going to bundle up and I'm going to go for a walk. So I walked down to the riverside and... Well, I walked up the wagon bridge, but my actually I have blisters on the back of my feet from my boots that I walked in the other day. And so I don't want to walk too far. And then I was walking back over and I saw this thing. Somebody built like half an igloo. So let's go check it out. Yep, taller than me. Just going inside, sort of, as inside as I can go. I'm scared to go too far. I don't want it to fall on me. But, igloo. <laughs> so stupid, but so fun. Uh, I kind of look like a mess today. My face is all broke out. I don't know if it's hormones or stress or what I'm eating. So... I just don't care and I'm not putting anything on it because that just makes it worse so sorry you guys have to see me all broke out but oh well um it's beautiful I'm gonna flip it around and show you the pretty side so that building the tall one is the courthouse. The one that says Winona on it is called the boathouse. It's a little restaurant.
There's waves. Where is it coming from? I didn't see a boat go by, but it sure looks like boat waves. Look, it's cracking up all the ice. And shaking the house. It's the first time I've felt the house rock. In a little while. Dang. Aloha, you guys. So, I'm cooking. I've been ordering the HelloFresh boxes for, this is my third week now, and I am going to make pork sausage rigatoni rosa, and it comes with all the ingredients except for salt, pepper, cooking oil, sugar, and butter, so it comes with all the other stuff. I've already minced my zucchini, and my, or cut my zucchini, minced my garlic. I have everything set out and ready to go. I have my pots ready to go, one with water, one going to be for the zucchini. And once I have everything um, all completed, then I will put it all together and I'll snap a photo of it and I'll insert it in here. But I've made a couple different things and I'll put in some of those other pictures as well. Um, it's been really fun. Uh, I don't know why this feels so easy compared to just going to the store, buying all the stuff, putting it all together. But this just feels so much easier and I'm learning a lot. Um, for example, I didn't realize that starch water was a good thickener for like sauces or gravies. And so they have you, typically, they have you like boil the pasta, then they have you keep like a cup of the water, um, same thing with potatoes and rice, and then they use that to make the sauce, whatever the sauce is, um, to kind of thicken the sauce. So something kind of fun I'd never known before, so I'm learning a lot. All right, well, I don't have a whole lot else going on right now. I'm probably going to listen to my book and do some cleaning. I've got to finish up some dishes, and I will catch up with you guys later. Okay, bye! all those tracks out there. Somebody's been wandering around. What kind of tracks are those? Anybody know? Deer? No. Coyote? Fox? Hey guys, so I just got home. Um, my parents picked me up for the day. We went on a little drive to Wisconsin. We went to two separate bars just to kind of hang out and eat some food and have some drinks. Yeah, we had a good time. We went on a little road trip. I had a burger that had peanut butter and jelly on it. Okay, I'm at this bar with my parents. I'm not going to show, but I got a burger and it's got peanut butter and jelly on it. Have you guys ever heard of this? Because I've never heard of this. PB&J burger. Or PB&J burger. I just thought I would share that with you guys because it's very interesting. I'll say this much. I liked it. The first few bites tasted like too much like peanut butter. You couldn't taste the burger at all. But then as I ate through it, I started to taste the burger and the peanut butter kind of became less overwhelming. Um, and then it was really good. So yeah, anyways. Um, also we, I saw some, you saw some of, some of our road trip. It was very beautiful. Of course, thanks for having me. Happy birthday, mommy. Thank you, it was fun. I'm gonna make some food. I am going to make, tonight, I'm going to make this sheet pan Monterey Jack unfried chicken. Um, and we have broccoli also, because I thought I was substitute, substituting the broccoli for the carrots, but they sent both, so we're gonna have both. 